Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Today I'm going to do a battle of the 5 inch 9s. Hammer fired versus striker fired. Goodness, we got the Beretta 92A1 versus the PPQ 5 inch. So we got hammer fired versus striker fired. Both have aftermarket night sights. This one does have a 14 pound uh, Lingdon hammer spring in it. But I'll fire round starting DA with the Beretta, so maybe that's going to give a huge advantage over to the PPQ. We will find out. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I'll be doing strings of three today. I'm working Appendix from Jam Custom, Kydex 2.5 Claw for the Beretta, and I'm working a Safari Land GLS 3 o'clock uh, for the PPQ because I'm not going on a timer today. And it was just going to be too much of a hassle to keep changing appendix holsters back to back. I think I'll start with the Beretta and then go to the PPQ and I'll kind of mix it up to make things a little more fair as we go along. And uh, I'll be circling the Beretta hits with a black pen so we know which is which. Okay, now I'm cold. Pretty close range. I'm cold. And these are half size targets because that's what I got left at the end. We'll go to some different targets. These are half size, so hey, if I don't shoot great the first couple times, hey, no, these are very, very thin. Alright, here we go. Alright. Nice, three on the center line, I stitched him. Okay, for, Sokol, for cold, three perfectly on the spine, I'm happy with that. All right, guys, about to take my first shots from the PPQ, and we're trying to figure out which is better 5-inch, which is better hammer-fired versus striker-fired. Also, which one should I carry in SHTF? Now, the PPQ is quite a bit lighter, but if things really go bad, you could probably find magazines and parts for the uh, Beretta 92. A lot more common. All right, let's take the first shots from the PPQ. See how we did. Well, for being cold, I'm okay with it. These are half size again. Two and one right there. Everything's basically on the spine, perfectly centered. I mean, pretty much call that a tie or maybe a slight advantage to the PPQ. All right, if you saw I got hung out up on the PPQ, that's only because I'm using a extended Canic mag in it right now and the holster is set up and everything else. And that's going to happen a bit today, but that's the only mag that I have for the day without reloading the difference. So, alright, let's see uh, three Beretta headshots. Let's see if I can do it. Let's go. And two misses out of three right there. I went boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Peacock and go. That's on camera and uh, it was shitty, homie. Now remember these are half size, but that was still pretty bad, so uh, let's see if I can do better with the PPQ. And there we go, all three with the PPQ. I got uh, better <laughs> focusing on the front sight that time. So yeah, there we go guys, I slowed it down, focused on that front sight. One, two, three with the PPQ. Obviously the PPQ wins this count, but I think that's just a fluke bad on me. All right guys, let's try some failure drill Mozambiques with the Beretta. Uh, let's see if I can make the headshots on this really skinny half size head or not. Let's see if I can remember to slow down a little bit. Go. Okay, I ain't shooting good today. I usually don't miss. I don't really know what's going on except that I think it's the grip thickness of the bread and I'm switching back and forth and I'm, it's tricking me because I'm switching pistols to something that's wider uh, in the grip. But for DA to SA transition for this double tap to be touching holes, it shows you DA to SA if you mastered, if really that was like the thing I focused on you can do. This is just horrible, uh, but hey, truth in the pudding today, I guess. All right, here we go with the PPQ. Hold there. 
All right, so here we go. One, two, three. I'm going to assume that that was my second shot. Maybe having a heavier pistol is a little better with recoil management because you see the Beretta put two on top of each other, even going DADS, SA, the PPQ. Drop the shot in that double tap. You know, lighter slide, little snappier in the PPQ, lighter pistol, but I made the headshot. So, I don't know if you call this one a tie or a miss is worse. Yeah, you're going to have to decide that one for yourself. I think it's me. I think it's switching the grip of the Brada. It's definitely putting that uh, low today. All right, guys, farther out, taking my time. Headshots about seven yards, quite a little bit farther out. Without drawing, I'm going to pick up the pistols. I'm going to reverse the order, start with the PPQ first, and just take my time. See how I did. Okay, this one was from earlier PPQ, not Beretta. This was PPQ. I marked it earlier just so we knew what was going on. One, two, three. All very close to the center five. Again, this is a very, very thin target. It's thinner than my hand, right? That would be a good upper thoracic hit. Anything uh, in your in your hand spread out. Not bad. All right, guys, because it's training, it's for fun. We're going to do the same thing with the Beretta starting in DA. Now, if there's a miss on the first shot, that's probably why. So we're really handicapping the Beretta here. Uh, except I haven't been shooting it or I haven't been dry firing it enough. Let's see how I did. I usually don't miss on video, but hey, it's happening today. So Beretta, one, two, and three. So I'm guessing my first DA shot, I jerked it high and right, right as I broke the shot. Now, a real normal sized target, my big human head, that would still be a halfway effective hit, but PPQ's edging it out. What do you guys think? Is it just me today? All right, let's move to a bigger target. Targets online, anatomy target. Starting with the PPQ this time. About seven yards, it looks like. Here's the third shot, a little left, but actually all three in the heart. Okay, first two right in the heart and spine. The third, as I called, pulled, just nicking the heart. But still, obviously, in that center box, very centered to the spine, pretty good. Now on the smaller targets, if you see the PPQ pulling ahead, some of that's the grip width, it's changing back and forth, and some of that is because it has a finer, uh, smaller, thinner uh, front night sight versus the F8 big bright orange, which is probably better for like CCW at closer distances. So there's a little trade off, there is that difference I wanted to make you aware of. Out of time. I think those are in the heart too. Okay, that's interesting. So, one perfect heart spine center CNS shot, you're done. And two, a little low, hitting the lung and the heart, making it, and they're touching each other. So I wonder if that was the last two or if it was the first two. Again, getting very close spits, maybe in the DAS they transition, or maybe after the first one I dropped it a little bit. But overall, I would say the PPQ is edging out a little bit today, guys. Wisconsin DOGA bad guy from about six yards. PPQs up first. Oh man, hey, how are you, dude? How are you? Oh, jump again! All right, Wisconsin DOGA bad guy is down. One, two, three, two are in the spinal. Awesome box. Five are in the, uh, the third is in the pie, still good upper thoracic. Blaster, meatball blaster. One, two in the pie, and one. A little closer now, let's Mozambique at about five yards. Hey, dude, I'll man. Hey, man, I'll only trouble. Back up.
Damn it! Okay, new hits are good. New hits are good here in the uh, spinal box, edge of the spinal box, one, two, and in the inner zone, the innermost zone. Headshot just a little bit off the nose. I usually aim there. Got him right below the eyeball. So PPQ did good yet again. All right, Mozambique with the meatball blaster. My SSP eyewear. Hey, dude, I like trouble, man. I like trouble. Drop it! Guys, this one is a tie or maybe slight edge to the Beretta because here was the PPQs, same finger split on the Beretta. I actually like the Beretta hits better because they're a little bit higher in that upper thoracic cavity and just above. So the Beretta was literally every shot was just a tad higher than the PPQ shot. Pretty much a tie, maybe a slight edge to the Beretta this time. All right, let's have some fun. Trigger mash, fast five, about eight, nine yards. PPQ, reset, recoil test. Bad guy down, bad guy down. One, two, three, four, five. So jumping around a little bit, but two upper thoracic, one a little low in the hand and the stomach, and two in the jaw right in the spine. Meatball blaster, fast five. OI John McLean Martin Riggs, this mf -er, because we got one, two, three, four, five with the Meatball Blaster. Meatball Blaster wins this one for sure. Another reason I CCW is so heavy, you have to stitch the guy up as you blast away McLean style. So guys, we got one perforated piece of shit. You can see the B's and the Q's listed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video between the Beretta 92A1 and the PPQ 5-inch battle, 5-inch hammer fired versus striker fired. Guys, always please thumbs up, share, subscribe, and look at my best PPU review.